So today I'm going to show you how to convert a series of JPEGs into an MP4. So the first thing you're going to need to do is right click and open terminal. You should get something like this, though it'll probably say SOS at your site. Um, and then we need to go to the path of where it is, so CD, and then slash shared slash SOS to wherever your data is. Today I'm going to do one in, let's do oceans. Um, LS lists everything in there, and let's do a CWIFS data set. And I'm going to go to polar holes, that's one of our data sets. You can see here 2048 is a directory full of JPEGs, and that is what I am going to convert. So simply type convert to MPEG4, and then the name of the directory with no slashes. Press enter, and it'll think for a minute, and then it'll start recording. This lets us know that our um, converter is working, it's making its MP4. When it's all done, we'll end up with a directory called 2048-2048-by1024.mp4, um, and that will be what we'll be able to use in our playlist.sos files. At this point, we could close the terminal and do everything through your file browser if you're more comfortable with that, or you can continue to use your terminal um, to do a couple simple things like rename the file. So it's probably about done. It's finishing up its stall for a minute. Um, and for longer videos, it's obviously going to take a lot longer. You can see it's doing about six frames at a, at a time. Um, so if you have thousands of frames in a sequence, it's going to take a while to load your MP4. Um, this one should be ending soon. I don't think it's that long. There we go. And it's finishing up here, thinking now we're done, we're back. If I type ls now, you can see I have this mp4 right here, and that's exactly what we were looking for. If I want to rename that, um, I could do that. Tab completes for you, and we'll name it something more useful, like cwifs.mp4, and there we go.